Well, hello, hello, everybody. Welcome back to another wonderful day of Charlotte Wars Adventure Factorio. And this is our Let's Learn series. And what are we going to do today? Well, I'm going to try and make my way up this way. We have our wall that we're doing. Whoa, okay, whoa, okay. We have our, oh, wait, wait. Yeah, we have our wall over here that we're doing, that we're constructing, that we're adding the the turrets too so that's what we're gonna try and, and do stupid trees oh my goodness okay Let's see if we can how far we can get with the the vehicle here oh, there we go okay let's stop there we go so how's everybody doing I'm doing great I brought a bunch of supplies this time so we can carry on and build this wall. My maces, this is all I've been doing. I've sealed off this whole area here. Um, I took out some uh, biter places up here. And so I've sealed off this area. I put a little wall here with some turrets. Down here I put a bunch of turrets. I got turrets going all the way around. And then I'm also extending out this area up into here. I'm going to have to take these guys out. I'm going to extend it up into there, this whole wall here. And I'm going to basically harvest these resources that are in here. And then we'll launch out and capture these resources to haul them back in by train into our main depot, into our, our, our base area here. And this is our energy that we're, we're doing. And I want to put more radar stations, of course, so that way, you know, like in this direction here so, and up in here so we can cover more area and, and have more places lit up. So yeah, it's pretty exciting what's going on over here. I haven't really played this game in a few days. And I'm kind of going to time this episode to be a half an hour, but I guess we'll see on that. Okay, let's keep going, keep going. I think I should run back. should uh, put some turrets down. What I've been doing with the, the wood that I've been chopping down is I've been putting that into the train system. So the trains that are is operating, you're going here to pick up the resources here, to pick up the resources here, and then to drop them off here. I'm also creating an oil depot. I'm going to make a rail go down this way and down this way to a, to a stop here. And then we're going to come back and essentially drop it off right in here. It's going to roll around and drop off here. Yeah. I can see it getting congested, that whole thing, but it's not really a big deal because of just how much, how quickly the trains go through there, so I don't plan on it being too congested. Three, four, five. Okay. And... Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Three, four, five. Five, and I'm counting these out because this is the best way of doing that. Um, unless they had like an auto thing that would tell you. Two, three, four, five. Five. I have a theory with all of these biters. Have you like? They slowly expand, but I'm not sure how or or exactly like what they do to expand. So what I've been doing is I put these walls in all around me to stop that encroachment. And I want to see what happens if any spawn inside or not. That's also partially for the the radar array, so that way we have a constant you know look of our base internally here ah, look there's our train going that's pretty cool you can see that on here okay I also have a situation brewing back at the base uh, I have too much ore <laughs> so we need to either increase production or increase something to get things going um, I'm watching that gun turret damage upgrade increase it's almost done uh, researching Also been watching a couple other YouTubers doing some PvP within Factorio, and I have to say it seems quite interesting, quite a different way of of doing things. But 
Yeah, definitely. And, and it does an interesting twist on everything. Some people have been using like biters where you can harvest biters. Well, not harvest, but like craft biters. And they've been you're throwing that at each other. And you're trying to kill each other with biters. And it's kind of interesting. But yeah, I don't know. Maybe one day I'll be able to do a, a collab with someone out there. Someone out there is watching this. Or maybe nobody. But hey, whatever. I'm having fun with this game and that's why I do this. And it's no different than really any other YouTubers. Sure, the personalities might be interesting and people might be interesting, but ah, whatever. It's all the same. <laughs> Whether you're watching this or someone else's, you know, just comment in the comments down below, you know, for somebody other than my brother, because I know my brother watches these probably, hopefully. Five. I don't even know if I have enough ammo for this one. Two, three, four, five. Four, five. Five. How far did we get? One, two, three, four, five. Wow. So, yeah, I'm going to need way more. <laughs> way more turrets. Way more turrets, that's for sure. Let's t take a look at our inventory. I do have ammo and I do have more walls, so we'll add more walls. Uh, can I make more turrets here? Yeah, I certainly can. Let's do that. Let's make 20 turrets. Because I use my materials, but that's okay. I'm not sure if I'll be able to put ammo into these. I just put 25 in these. The reason only 25 is so that way if I get attacked, I'll... You know, deal with the situation. I'll probably add more bullets into those areas that do get attacked. So maybe, yeah, I don't know. And I know I'm using the old bullets. That's by design. So I'm going to try and use those up. And usually the areas that start getting attacked, I'll replace some of these with a stack of, of the old bullets just to get rid of them. Because if you use the resources to build them in the big in the first place, you might as well you know, use it all up. I hate you know, kind of using up things, or not like using up things fully. It just it seems such a waste. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. There. We're almost there, and I'm also on version was it point eleven point eighteen now. Uh, everything seems to work just fine, so it's great that we can carry on with our progress. I know there's some upgrades I want to do, so let's grab our vehicle here. Okay, and let's go forward a bit. Let's kind of go forward about here. Perfect. Uh, let's place these guys. Do, do, do. Hope you're enjoying the music because there's no edits in this. One, two, three, four, five. Oh man. Uh, I'm, I'd be amazed if I keep anybody watching this stuff. It's pretty funny. One, two, three, four, five. But this is the only way I'll play. Like, one, two, three, four, five. I thought about playing games like single player. I can play them for about an hour, two hours, then I gotta stop. Or even multiplayer games, I can play for about an hour, two hours. And then I gotta stop because I'd rather watch I'd rather record it and then upload it and then watch it later and then and then upload it, you know, so that way you know there's record of that and someone else can watch it. You know, maybe my kids, maybe you know you watching this, maybe someone else, who knows? But yeah, it's just kind of neat to see where you know, these alpha games have gone from and to, you know, and where they get to. So it's pretty cool. I can't wait for the end game in this game. That's something that they're talking about. Four, five. I wonder if there's a five, f five, f three, no, f six, uh, f seven. Okay. 
No, that's not going to help. There's a way of getting a grid up, but that's okay. Oh, that's done. That's done. What can we do? What can we do? We can increase our lab efficiency, so that way we can research the rest of these faster. And I say let's do that, because that will use resources. Three, four, five. Okay. Five, five. Oh, here we go. We can add more uh, walls here. Okay, let's chop that up. One, two, three, four, five. Wow, it's going pretty good. Uh, let's see, I've got to chop these trees all down because they're going to be in the way. As always. And so basically all of this wood that I'm harvesting will go into the train system. Which then basically will, they'll use as fuel. So yeah, i got so much of this wood that that's what I've been doing. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, one. Five, one, two, three, four, five. Five, one, two, three, four, five. There we go. Okay. Now the walls, I don't need to count. I just blindly place. Everything should be s safe. I am behind the wall, so if the situation does arise, we can easily get power quickly. There's a light up there. Um, why did that stop? Okay, let's chop these trees down here. All right, here is I'm gonna have a problem with. Well, maybe not. Maybe we can chop, uh, chop these down. Oh. Okay. And then we can potentially place one of these guys just like this, probably one. To, yeah, there we go. We'll put those there for now. We don't need to power them. But that will be a reminder to... T let's chop these trees down too while we're at it. So that way the area is all prepared and ready for... For consumption. And I think we're going to use a train maybe to go up this direction. I think. Not sure. Maybe you can create a system that processes this stuff I don't know let's see here okay uh, I got some more concrete or the the walls so we'll carry on since we know that that unit will take care of that resource for us oh okay there we go and this is such a big wall so many biters to protect from and there we go we're out of walls so it's the quickest way probably run back to the vehicle which is somewhere over I'm over here so it's back over here somewhere by the copper deposit there which I haven't had really to have too much copper there's a small copper place here this is that iron deposit we're gonna you definitely probably tie into the other iron deposit and then have a station maybe all three of those deposits maybe this one this one and this one will tie into a system in here and the train can come up this way diagonally into a station why is that circle there maybe that's oh yeah that's probably radar station so there should be a vehicle back down this way somewhere yeah, here we go, here we go. Okay, let's check the fuel, 47, so let's dump that in there. Perfect, let's fix this guy up, okay. Now let's hop right in. Oh, come on, really? <laughs> okay, so let's get skedaddle. Whoa, shit. 
Ah. Oh yeah, I forgot these stupid trees. Okay, and I can kind of scooch. Ah, that sucks. This way. Whoa, I almost hit that. And we're into the base here. So maybe we'll just park it right here. Okay, that works out pretty good. Let's repair this guy. Okay, so what do I have on me here? So let's go check out what I've been doing. So this is our our systems here. We create the gears for all of this. Well, not all of it. It's just belts. We got enough belts. Yeah, we do. Okay, and down here we got electric engines being created. We have batteries being made here. Let's grab a stack of batteries for that. Let's take a look at our power. So, as you can tell, see, I got 20 of these boilers and so during the day this replaces and I got 2.1 gigawatts of yeah so we got plenty of power for our base during the day and at night hopefully we got enough oh and that's not completely created so we'll leave that the circuit's been going like, like crazy do we need let's grab let's replace some of our circuits here there we go, so we've got full circuits. How about these guys? These are what we need. We need efficiency modules. But in order to make those, we need to... Yeah, we got lots of red guys here. So what we can do is grab some of these, which are still being made, which is kind of interesting. Since I have been playing a little bit on my own, but not really, now those will go into operation. I think we got modules and all this stuff so far except for the miners so we're definitely gonna have to do a trip back up top there to show you the miners I just want to double check okay well since this is our home base see as you can tell you know something here that's missing uh, there's no more fuel s system oh wait I still need that no more fuel system here that gets used up I'm in the middle because we convert these way down here a lot sooner. Where are we? Right down here, this is where we convert everything. And they're actually all being used, which I'm quite surprised about. I think I can get rid of this one belt here in the middle. Let's see what happens. Yeah, okay, cool. But yeah, but basically, I got this system here that accepts incoming resources. And for some reason, I don't see any resources because we got. I don't know, it's still going through, just we got a jam up here. Okay, that's alright. And so basically, as, as you can tell, there's a, there's a smart chest here. This is a smart chest. And I have it attached with wiring. And basically, if if this stuff is less than 500, then I, I'll, I'll put it in there. And otherwise. This thing will use uh, this first, and then once this is used up, then it'll, it'll skip to the next condition. I got filters on these smart inserters, so that way it does that. And yeah, and this is where I've been dumping my fuel, but see we've got two stations here. And this one doesn't have the same kind of smart inserter assembly, uh, just because this is the train that we're gonna fill up and what I want to happen here is I want the oil barrels to be dumped off here and they also increase the size of these I, I forgot about that but oil barrels are gonna be dumped off of here loaded into here put it into here and then emptied back into here and loaded back up and basically this train will be the oil train and that's gonna be its job and I want to build some tracks so we're gonna snag some tracks from up here Okay, so everything is working, just not very quickly. I have an idea of how to expand this whole system, because this is a storage system I kind of came up with, which seems to do the trick. Here we go, here's my track system that I've put in place. And basically, I can grab a stack there, and then maybe we'll grab a stack of 100 there. And there we go, there's my tracks. Okay, and then they will continue operating. Then we want some more wall pieces here. I might actually 
go. Two, three, four. Yeah, maybe grab all of it, since I think we'll need it. Okay. I should be making these things too. What do we need? We need gears, copper plates, and iron plates. So let's see if we can. Is there anything in here I can take? Maybe these things. Let's stack that there. Grenades. Grenades are okay. We haven't really done any hunting. It's kind of. I kind of feel there's going to be some attacks that are going to be inching on. Uh, my footprint has decreased though because we're using more solar and these things aren't operating because I think they're fully backed up uh, the iron and copper deposits there because of everything backed up here but I thought I am doing everything as quick as I can maybe I'm just not consuming it fast enough so let's go take a look at the research the research is so this is missing smart inserters and because this thing's supposed to be creating them. Now why aren't we making these? We need more electronic circuits. Okay, I see. So it does get created into the blue, it's just we don't have enough production of the circuits. Well, that's terrible. So we need basic what do we need for circuits copper and steel so copper wire and steel I want to tie in some more circuits into this uh, this whole thing but where would I do that hey where would I do such a thing maybe right here maybe you can extend this out further just like this and then maybe let's put another assembler right here and then we can go create circuits let's see how we can do this uh, we might have to put underground belt for let's see here underground belt for here actually let's do it like this okay and then we put underground belt where are we there we go just like that okay okay and then let's put in inserter okay and then we can do a small inserter and then let's do a red inserter and then we need to do power so it's the best way of doing power maybe right here okay and now I guess that's the problem is these things so we need to we need to see if we can make these more compact I want to try and fit in one more in here, so I want to move this all up by one. So let's let's do that. Let's take that out, that out. Okay. Okay. Let's even take this belt out since it's confusing us. Okay, so these don't need copper wire, right? So does this. So what happens if we were to put hmm, see how this is all doing what it's doing? Uh, yeah, so I'm just trying to see if there's a way of getting an extra one in here. If I do this, let's take this up, let's put that, let's put craft one more of these guys. Okay, like that. Maybe? OK. 
Okay, let's fix this up. So we're going to put one here. You have to bear with me. I'm kind of thinking out loud. Okay, this will go up like this. Okay, this will go up like that. Okay. And then this one will go like this. Okay, and then we need to put in some belts here somewhere. Okay, which then can get used for this stuff. Okay, so let's dump in our plastic there. Then we want to do copper. There's a way of copying items too. I think it's shift, control, control, shift, right click, left click, left click. There we go. And I, and I press the, sh the shift down, yeah, and then, yeah, that's pretty cool how you can do that. Okay, and so then now, this belt will have copper wire, I think. Yeah, okay, I think this will do it. This will fuel it all. And what we can do then, we don't need to balance it, I don't think. Actually, let's do it like this. That way, each one is for its own tier. And let's do power here. Let's increase this like that. And then now, let's see what happens like this. Put that there, that there, that there. Okay, I think I think we did it. Uh, one, two, and this third one here should do that okay now now if we put power to all this stuff put power how do you want to do power do power like that pick that up put power maybe right there okay everything is powered again and I think now the copper is going with the respective areas this one will pick it up when there's excess, but this one, where does it get, where does it get its copper wire from? Oh yeah, from this unit right here, get its copper wire from that. I almost want to put, I don't think that would be possible though is to put a box between us. I would have to move all these down one unit. And I'd have to move this down even. I could probably fit in more things in here, but that one we did add should hopefully solve the situation. But we do have more of these guys coming through. They are being snagged up pretty quick, but no, I think we'll, we'll do quite okay. We got more. Okay. Uh, okay, perfect. So I think we can add modules to these guys. Okay. Okay. Those ones have a couple. Those ones do already. Okay. It's all the new stuff then. These guys need it. Okay, perfect. We got that. How about this one? Okay, I'm just kind of double checking all of these. How about the engines? Okay. Wow, it's that time already, isn't it? Oh man, I want to do this episode so much longer. Crazy. Um, Let's put some in here since I know that's constant. Oh, and I didn't even get to show you guys everything. Oh, man. Um, crap, let's go over here. Let's check if some of these guys need 
And up here, I think, still up here, we got a bunch of copper units that need. Maybe I don't have any copper units that need anything. Oh man. Snap, look at that. Crazy, okay. Uh, but this is the stone deposit here. It looks like it's still operating. Let's go check it out up there. I put in these laser turrets because there was a situation arising with that stuff. Let's go check it out up here. Oh crap, look at this. Man, let's fix that. Wow, okay. That's some ammo is being used there. Looks like this station is done. Oh, we still got some for these guys. That is so cool. So let's put some modules in here. I think these guys are harvesting still. So let's put a couple modules in there. Huh. That's so cool. So let's pick this up. That's exciting. Because once this all gets used up and disappears, there won't be no need for any of this stuff anymore. And then we'll slowly rip it up, um, apart uh, you know what I'm gonna go longer with this episode I'm just gonna record what I need to record with all this show you everybody everything that's going down and everything that's happening so I made more modules there we got copper being you know used up but not fast enough we got stuff up here you know being crafted and made Let's see, let's see, so we got all these things. These are basically the furnaces that operate. And that's the wall project. I think I need more walls anyways. This is non-stop. Ah, nice. So I'm gonna grab all of these, and we're gonna take the train up, and I'm gonna walk up there to put the walls in. So let's so this stuff is still trickling in slowly. Same with the copper. I just know there's a lot of copper. A lot of backlog of this stuff. I guess what one could do. Oh, no, there's still resources in some of these. That one does not anymore. Okay, cool. I can pick that one up. So what these can do is... If you want to expand these, one, two, three, four, five, six. So if I can make 12 of these guys, two, three, four, five, six, nine, 10, 11, 12. Okay, so what these will do, so if I want to expand this, I just have to do this. And basically, okay, and then I put a bunch of fast inserters. I have to put them like this all the way down the line here and then we always want to do like that two two in and two down there okay and then we'll do the same way okay all going into the central and what this stuff does is it's like a buffer system and it's what it's designed to do is Exactly this to buffer this all. Yeah, that's fine. It can be sloppy as it can be. And so there you go. What this will do is this will expand storage capacity and allow everything to progress and move forward. And get this going again and allow resources to be extracted. Oh man, crazy and I missed the train, Arg. Okay, well let's build the new train. Let's do a little bit of that. So my plan is, of course, there's the signals here. We'll have to add in a couple more signals, which we already have here. So how will that happen? Okay, again, we need to add basic signal here and here, okay. And then we need to add a signal in right are we here, I think. Okay. 
I think that will do it. That will stop trains from going the wrong area. Oh, okay, here we go. Now that means it's trains coming down. Yeah, okay. Now it's green again. It does its thing here. And it'll go up. But anyways, we want to build a track, right? So, so the plan is I want to line it up a little bit further down here. So, all we do is we just lay rail down just like this. So, map. Uh, drop that map. Okay, now we can bend it, I think. Oops. That lab efficiency isn't really going too quickly, but it does need a lot of research. I need to add another bend. Okay, just like that. Then you always have to add a rail, and then we bring this rail straight across. And we're just going to go all the way until we get uh, roadblocks, which we'll then chop down. And then we just keep going this way. And I'm going to build this rail out down to here, and then I'll build the station. Probably have to take those guys out, which most likely I will. And then I'll have to reinforce this wall here and expand the wall out more, of course. So yeah, so hopefully you've enjoyed this episode. I still need to show off what this area looks like. I think I already did, but we'll just have to show you the progress. And yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.